people losing Drea here and it is exactly two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm sorry if I look like hell I've just been through hell literally this morning took hubby to work because it's Wednesday it's his day off where he drops his work truck off and it stays locked up in the, the yard there and he gets to come home so um, I picked him up and on the way back from the shop we were driving minding our own business stopped at a red light talking about going and eating some breakfast at our favorite place oasis and bam hit from the back like startled uh, I looked behind me I didn't see a car I looked to my left because I was pushed somewhat into the left I didn't see a car I didn't even think about what was in front of me apparently that I hit the front car the car in front of me and the guy got out and looked probably saw no damage got back in his car kept going by the time I turn and look to my right, I'm the one driving now. Hubby's on the passenger side. The passenger back rear end of my car got slammed pretty hard. I'm going to insert some pictures. But I look to my right, and there's this lady heading towards, my, facing my door, because she was probably texting, didn't even see us stop there at the light. There was no screeching or anything. She just, like, wham, right in the back of my car. And I'm starting to feel a little bit of pain right now. At first, I was just, like, really in shock. Of course, everybody on the scene, are you okay? Are you okay? You know, I was hungry. I wanted to go eat. And, um... You know, I had to get a rental car and this, that, and the other thing, which is that's what we're in right now is we're in this rental car. But I got to tell you guys, man, I'm a little startled and, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, um, what's the word? You know, like tormented or whatever. Like I, now, of course, you know, the cop asked me, was I looking in my rear view mirror? Well, I'm sorry, officer. I was stopped at a red light and I was looking ahead of me waiting for the light to change. Why would I be looking in my rearview mirror? I'm not driving behind me. I'm not backing up. And I'm certainly not expecting somebody to nail me in the back end of my car. No, I wasn't looking in the back. And I had no reason to look in the back. And it wasn't until I got hit that I then looked in the back. And I still didn't see anybody. She was already on my side. And since the damage was on the right passenger back end, like, trunk of my car. And her front end driver's side of her car. It's obvious that by the time she probably looked up from texting on her phone, she tried to turn her wheel to the right, and that's why she clipped her driver's side to my passenger side in the corner, because there's three lanes of traffic, and I was in the end lane, and that's probably where she was. I mean, she was apologetic, and that's what, you know, they call them accidents, things happen, but when I looked over at her, more worried about, see if she's okay, because I heard hissing, and I didn't know if it was like, you know, something going to explode, and it was actually my tire losing air, 
my gas tank literally like scrunched up into my tire um but i was like worried about you know is she okay get her out of her car you know let's get her out it might blow you know i don't know and i look over and she's already on her phone well that's because she was probably on her phone from the get-go which is probably what caused the accident so i'm putting this out there to any of my viewers you know if you think it's okay to text and drive it's not okay it's not if you are looking anywhere but up and in front of you and you're hit you hit somebody in the ass end it is not okay you know i know that florida is a uh they tell me it's a uh no fault state you know i don't know about anything nobody was cited at the at the scene i always thought if you got hit in the ass it was the person that hit you fault I don't know. I just know that it wasn't my fault and, you know, now I've got a deductible and all this other stuff that i got to worry about. However, my insurance company will, I guess, try to recover those fees so it doesn't cost me anything. Um, from my understanding, that's what it sounded like. But I'm devastated right now. My husband is, like, devastated right now. And not only that, we get in a rental car. Everything, let me tell you, i got to say, e-surance is my insurance carrier and they were, like, right on the money, like... <laughs> They had my car from the time it got towed to the tow yard up to the body shop where I'm having them do the work. I mean, quick. Very, very quick. They acted quick. And um, I was at the rental uh, Enterprise Rental Car Company to get a rental. And they told me, well, there hadn't been an adjuster assigned to your case yet. And that's how quick everything was happening. And yet I said, well, can you please do something? Because I've just been in an accident. And I really don't want to be standing around. And they told me how to wait an hour. Within minutes, I had my adjuster, uh, I guess, assigned to my case and on the phone and dealing with everything and getting all the information from me that he needed to get and so on and so forth. So I just want to give kudos to eSurance for anybody that thinks that, you know, that they're like a second rate uh, insurance company or whatever. Don't believe the hype, okay? They are awesome so far I have no complaints if any of that changes down the line um, regarding the repair of my car or anything I will surely let you guys know but I have not had a problem with them as of yet and so far I'm very satisfied so um, this is not something that was my fault I can't control what other people do and the fact that I got hit in the butt um, now of course I'm looking in my rearview mirror but like what am I gonna do if somebody's coming at me what am I supposed to do hit the gas and hit the people in front of me like that's going to help anything it's like i'm traumatized it's just it's horrible um but so that's what's going on with me and of course i went straight to breakfast and took it out and ate something i probably shouldn't have eaten um but hey you know i have to do what i have to do and i'm sitting here now and i have some neck pain and shoulder pain and i did have a pain here in my elbow, um, on my arm. I have not taken this jacket off since it happened. I really need to like look at myself a little better. I might end up at the hospital later. I really don't know if that's the case. This might be the end of my vlog, but if not, I'll maybe have something more to add to it later. I really don't know. I'm sitting outside of an appointment that hubby had. Um, he had an appointment this morning and he had to cancel that because there was no way we we're going to make it to that appointment he's got this appointment now and then he's got one after this so you know i mean the only day he has off is today so that's why he has all these appointments back to back but you got to do what you got to do but yeah what a day what a day and oh so like enterprise puts us in this like nissan altima that smelled like popcorn and pee pee and it was just like a horrible experience not to mention the thing felt like I was in a golf cart and you know after you get in a bad accident the last thing you want to do is be in a car that makes you feel confined and small and like I have insurance that I have the extra insurance so that I get a full-size car Enterprise considers that Nissan Altima a full-size car and I got news for you guys Enterprise that is not a full-size car you can't go from like a 300 Chrysler S and get into a Nissan Altima. I just don't care what you think. That's not full size. Anyways, this Charger we're in now is much better and much more like my car. It has the same features in it and whatnot. The navigation is not the top of the line one. And I don't have the sunroof, but I don't care about all that. I care that I'm in a much bigger 
car with more space that I don't feel all cramped up in. And if, God forbid, I should get hit in this thing, I hope not, um, I feel comfortable. I have to say that my car is one of the better cars. I believe that it saved our lives because as hard as we were hit, um, we're both, ourselves and the lady, are both very, very fortunate. Now, one thing I will say. Now, I realize I was hit in the ass, so my airbags did not deploy. And the paramedics on the scene, when I mentioned that I just realized that neither of our airbags deployed, um, he said, well, I've seen a few accidents involving cars just like yours and where they're hitting the ass end, they don't deploy. But why hers didn't, I have no idea because she, her impact was right front, uh, left front driver's side of her car and they should have deployed at least the one in the steering wheel and nothing neither one of us and maybe it's for the better because there's a lot of bad injuries that occur from airbags too but um i'm gonna end this vlog here it's almost 10 minutes already of me just ranting about the accident that happened this morning i hope that everybody else is having a grand day a much better day than i'm having i mean it's never too late to start over and that's what i'm gonna do from well i already did from a little while ago but of course I'm still in a car and I'm quite tired I need to get home and get some sleep I did work all night but I slept a couple hours and then I had to get up to go and you know make sure hubby got back in time with the car and whatnot so he can go to his appointments and now he's at at least one of the three that he has for the day I'll talk to you guys later So, hey everyone, um, it's probably around, I don't know, what, 8 o'clock at night, and I'm coming to you guys, as I know it's kind of dark, let me go here in the light, um, just really, really tired, had a really, really spent day, um, <laughs> starting off from this morning, as you guys know from the earlier part of my vlog, so I'm just going to come to you guys just to close my vlog for the day, tomorrow is a new day, hopefully be a much better day for myself and my husband, and I'll vlog to you guys and hopefully have some good news instead of all this weird wild news of uh car accidents and stuff with that said be happy be healthy be beautiful but just be you be the boss of your own loss if you're on a weight loss journey and i will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video bye guys be blessed